Author Jennifer Egan has had a great year. Her novel, A Visit from the Goon Squad, won the Pulitzer Prize, and we are very pleased to have her here in studio this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so Goon Squad actually came out last year, but then won the Pulitzer Prize this year. And then a lot more people um, uh, read it, including myself. One of the reasons we have you here is because it's the end of the year, a lot of people reflecting back. And, and, and Goon Squad is this very inventive book. Can we call it a novel, by the way? You know, I don't tend to use that word, but I don't really care. I mean, it's a work of fiction. I actually structured it a bit like a record album. It has an A side and a B side. And the pieces, if you will, all sound very different from each other. The, the feeling of each chapter is very different from each other, but they all fit into one story. And so the idea is you're skipping back and forth in between time, as one could potentially do if they're listening to a record in different tracks. The idea came from where? I never know. <laughs> Somewhere up there. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, I, I had two real sources of inspiration that may seem like an unlikely pairing. One was Proust, who wrote a very long novel about time and memory and nostalgia, uh, which if one I finally can make it through it. <laughs> which I finally read in <laughs> okay. my late thirties, early forties. And the other was actually the television show The Sopranos. Now you might think, how could these two things be combined? But in fact, they had a lot in common. The Sopranos also, to some degree, is about time passing, uh -huh. and a lot of time passed over the course of that series. The kids grew up, but. I was also really interested in trying to capture the little shocks and jolts of realizing that time has passed. And that's also something Proust was really interested in. Have you, have you heard like a Pulp Fiction comparison at all with a nonlinear narrative? You know, it's funny. I, re I saw Pulp Fiction for the second time recently and I felt that I had almost plagiarized the movie. It's so important do I think it was to this book because I was fascinated by Tarantino's scrambling of the timeline and I think that it, it, it had a huge impact on me. You're a writer, so, so you, you clearly don't rest on your laurels. You want to do something, is it fair to say, completely different every time? Yes. Do you wait for that inspiration? I usually feel it kind of pushing forward as I'm finishing the prior book, and it often has the feeling of, you know, looking forward to doing something that's not this. You know, I, I write because I love to escape into another world. I don't write about my own life. I don't write about people I know, much to the relief of my friends and family. But I really, I like to live a different life at the same time that I'm living my own very satisfying life. <laughs> Which is odd because people say, everybody says, write what you know. Are, do you... Are you not I, writing what you know? Exactly the opposite. My weakest point as a writer is trying to write about myself. I don't like it, and I don't do it very well. Um, but I, I love that feeling of escaping into another reality. And once I've written a book and been with it for a few years, that reality feels very familiar to me, and I want to mix everything up and try something totally different. What's next? Well, I want to write a historical novel, which I've never really done, set in New York in the 40s. I'm especially interested in women who built and repaired ships during the war at the Brooklyn Navy Yard. So Rosie the Riveter, basically. I've, I've interviewed a lot of ladies who did that work, who are now in their 80s. It's been very, very interesting working on an oral history of their stories, and we'll see what it all comes to. So one of the cool things about Goon Squad, it, it, it's, it's not just the words on the page, but it's the music that's on the page. I've heard someone describe it as the music is pulsing on every single page. Um, what do you listen to? Well, I'm listening to different things all the time. While I was working on that book, I used music a lot to recalibrate from one chapter to another. So there's one that takes place in the 70s in San Francisco during the punk rock moment there. There's another that takes place in the earlier 70s I'm on a safari in Africa. I kind of hit the grunge moment of the early 90s in New York. But I think what I was really interested in was the way that music is a kind of um, time machine. You know, it moves us through time like almost nothing else. And I think now that we all have our own devices with our own soundtracks, I think I've feel personally more aware of that than ever. I walk around listening to my favorite songs and they carry me through different moments of my life all the time. Do you gravitate toward any genre? Not really. I'm interested in everything. I, you know, my 11-year-old, almost 11-year-old, is really into hip hop. He's gotten me into Eminem, which I never thought possible, but actually, I really like Eminem. <laughs> um, I, I'm open to anything. I love classical. I, I love Chopin. He's probably my favorite classical composer. Um, but I, I also just love, you know, pop music, Lady Gaga. <laughs> And the idea from, finally, the idea in Goon Squad, because one of the most inventive parts of it um, is this, uh, it's essentially it's a, a bunch of documents. It's a, it's, a, it's a PowerPoint presentation. It's part of the book. The idea for that came from where? Well, I, I, as I said, I wanted each chapter to feel very different from all of the others. Now, that becomes hard to do 13 times. So I was looking for all different ways to write, to tell different kinds of stories. I got very interested in PowerPoint because people were using it all the time. Mm. And ultimately, <laughs> it let me 
tell a very a sweet kind of sentimental family story that I think would have sounded very schmaltzy if I had, had, had written in a, a conventional way. But PowerPoint let me, let me tell a story that would have been hard for me to tell otherwise. A visit from the Goon Squad, it's uh, an insanely inventive book, not novel, we'll say, if that's not overly hyperbolic. Um, <laughs> appreciate your time, Jennifer Egan. My pleasure. Good luck with your next project, and happy holidays to you. Thanks.